Good morning, everyone. Uh, today is August 15th, so this is Vlogist 15. Um, welcome to the dining room. I am sorry I'm not in the yarn room, but I have a lot to show, and I don't have a lot of space to hold stuff up there, so, <coughs> so I need a table. I need more space. Or else I would have been in the yarn room, I promise. I try to be there as much as possible. I really could have gone up to the studio, but three flights up and I really didn't want to walk it um that's the problem with the studio it's three flights up um it's in the attic and I only go up there to film when it's when it's not too hot <clears throat> today would have been a good day but it's a nice sunny day out uh so enjoy that in the background <laughs> and don't mind that plant I know you guys are looking at that saying why do you have that because I started some plants some cuttings and I have to pot them in there so when Chloe goes to her uh, new room I want to give her a potted plant and I'm going to do that today they've grown roots and they need to go in the ground and that's where they're going the plant that was in there is now in this corner and it's really big it's grown just since I replanted it okay that was about I don't know two weeks ago even and it's, it's getting really big so enough of that that's not why you're here <laughs> You're here to see what have I been working on, and we're picking a winner, and I have another giveaway. So let's do that. Um, so I finished the bear. The bear is done. Cute, right? I'm a little disappointed. I should have thought about the eye, the dark eyes on the dark. I mean, you can still see his eyes, her eyes. It'll be a girl, I'm sure. Uh, so anyway, that's okay. I still think she's really cute. I really like the pattern she does you can't hardly tell here but no hands man she stands up all by herself so that's awesome Got a little tail on the butt her little ears are on uh, I hope I have the placement right of all this stuff so that when I make clothing for it it fits that's my problem uh, but I am gonna start with so let's see this is the book if you're new uh, this is where the pattern came from, Dress Up Amigurumi. This book, uh, I believe, was gifted to me. Uh, my, my memory is so bad on that. Um, but I made this bear. She, My granddaughter wanted either the bear or the deer. Um, I like the bear better. So I made the bear. I did not make the black circle nose because I forgot to take black yarn to the camper. So I just put this as like a safety eyes kind of nose, except it's, it's you know, nose. It's, it's made to be a nose. And I think it looks fine. And so I'm just leaving it. Um, I don't think she'll know the difference when I show her the bear. She'll be thrilled. So I'm going to start with, um, I have it marked here. She specifically asked if I could make her one of the animals from this book and some accessories like a baby bottle. So I'm going to start with this outfit because I really like the outfit. I think it's really cute and it's got the baby bottle. Uh, and that's what she specifically asked for. It may or may not have a hat. <laughs> we'll see how the ears fit in the hat. That's my concern of placement. Did I put things in the right spot to make that work out? Um, in the outfit that I really want to make. There's so many cute outfits in this book, you guys. I really recommend it if you have a kid that would want to dress up or, you, you know, change clothes on it yourself. Um, but I'm going to, I really want to make the jammies. And after making the baby outfit, I'll know if the ears are placed right <laughs> to make the hat. Uh, so, you know, you might have to, like, flub up some things to make that work. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Um, but anyway, that's the next outfit I want to make is the jammies because I think if she had jammies, maybe she would sleep with it at night. Uh, so that's what happened there. It's done. I used a four millimeter hook on the whole thing and big twist in the color taupe. This is the Joann's House brand, which I mean, I know yarn prices are going up. But I was afraid I wasn't going to have enough. And this is how much I had left. Uh, and we were going to be passing a Joann's on the way home from the campground yesterday. 
So we did stop just because I wanted to make sure I'd have enough. Um, and I ended up having enough, but I bought another skein. $4.49 regular price. The Big Twist is not on sale. The Red Heart is for like $4.99. Really? The house brand is like almost the same price as the name brand. I'm I'm like I did have a 40% off coupon, so I used it on the one skein that I bought of that. I did also buy um, two other, so I'll show you while I got it. It's not really a haul, it's just two other. Um, these are the Karen One Pounders. This is the color Truffle. And it was on clearance for $6.97. Like, what's the regular price then? Um, and this color called Succulent. Um, because another grandchild has asked that I make her two Baby Yodas. So, I didn't. I made a Baby Yoda, but I know I don't have enough of those colors to make two Baby Yodas. And I want to make them bigger than what uh, the Baby Yoda I made was just a little tiny. So, I'm going to look for a Baby Yoda that's more in, you know, this kind of size range. So, I thought this would be good for his... Uh, I know he's got a name. I don't know what it is. Uh, I think Baby Yoda is cute, and I like calling it Baby Yoda. <laughs> and I don't remember what the name of it is. But I thought those would be good colors. Um, and I purchased them specifically now because they're on clearance. I don't know when I'll get around to making the Baby Yodas. Um, because I have so many other things in the works. So many things to make and so little time for crochet. This is my problem. Um... I have some other things I want to show you, but I think I might put those in another video because if I show you everything I have right now, I won't have anything for tomorrow's video because <laughs> uh, I won't have anything done by then, I'm sure. Uh, I am going to go, uh, uh, the, the rumor has it that uh, Hobby Lobby is doing their, um, their markdowns for the one scheme, you know, the off die lot thing their dial up clearance so check out your hobby lobbies i did go to one on friday they hadn't started it to the closest one but i'm going to go to the one out um there's a shopping mall that has a joanne's a michael's and a hobby lobby all within walking distance to each other um so i'm going to run out there just because <laughs> just because I also have heard that Michael's is having a big clearance on their cakes. I know, Lynette, you don't need any more yarn. I know, I know, I know. Um, but, hey, I've checked out some other flasher stashes, like uh, my good friend Nancy from She's Got Yarn, too. She's got twice as much yarn as I do. So I feel validated if I buy more. <laughs> now, I just, um, if they have, if Hobby Lobby has the, I will buy one or two skeins of, you know, of a color, particularly when it's a solid color, because I mix and match all the time. I don't have a problem with that. I've said that before. So uh, I do want to just buzz right out there and hit all three stores and see what I can come up with. Then that'll be a whole nother video. Um, but I do have a giveaway winner picked for the uh, Isaac Maserati yarn, but I'm going to do another giveaway because I told you I was going through my yarn room. And there's going to be yarns that I know I'm not going to use. And I ordered um, the Crochet World magazine. And I think I'm now getting two subscriptions. I ordered it. And it didn't come. Like other people are showing they got their Crochet World for August 2022. Mine didn't come. So I called them. And I said... Um, this isn't the one you'll get because this is the one my daughter wrote on and it's the one that I've had, but I'll get, I have another one that my daughter did not write on. But anyway, I called them and I said, you know, I haven't gotten my magazine and now it's already August or almost August. And usually they come out the month beforehand and they said, oh, you don't have a subscription. You only bought like a one. I thought I bought for $1.99. I, I, this is what I remember. And then you're agreeing to buying the subscription. Um, and they'll charge a credit card. I'm like, okay. So I did that because I really wanted the magazine. 
Well, then when the magazine didn't come and everybody else was getting theirs, I called them and I'm like, what's up? And they said, oh, you didn't buy a subscription. You were just getting the one magazine. I'm like, oh, well, I want the subscription. So I ordered the subscription. Like two days later, she said, I probably wouldn't get the August magazine. It's probably too late for that. Well, like two or three days later, the same week for sure, I got a copy of the magazine and I'm like, wow, I didn't even think I was going to get this magazine. Well, then two weeks later, I got a whole nother August magazine. So I'm going to give one away, not this one. <laughs> You'll get the other one that doesn't have my daughter's penmanship all over it. Um, but anyway, that's going to be in the new giveaway is the one copy, uh, the newer copy that's not written on. And some yarn that was in my yarn room that I've had that I'm not going to use. Um, now, the first yarn that I'm going to show you is yarn that I really like, but I've made projects out of it. And I'm, I just don't foresee. It kind of scratches me a little. I think that it might be a little wool in it, um, even though it says it's not. But it's yarn that I got from that store, that I, the Dreamweaver, that I used to be able to get real cheap, real inexpensive. And I bought a lot of it because I think it's really unique. Um, so all of this is all the same colorway, even though, as you see, all these different colors in it. I did have a cowl that I made for myself. Um, it was just a sample. And then I made a lot of Christmas presents out of this yarn. But see how it works up? It's got all these colors. And then it's got, it's very much roving. Um, so then it goes to this solid black. And it's got in here... Even some sparkle. Can you see that right there? That's got the sparkle in it. In the black. And so it's really cool. And it uh, here's more of the black sparkle. And then solid, you know, solid colors. Which are thicker and fuzzy. And um, it it's, you know, it's a really cool, you know, if you wear it as a um, cowl. I really like it. But I've used it several times. Uh, this is what I just made. You know, this was my practice for myself. Um, I don't really ever wear it. But I don't like to have things around my neck, so I don't wear cowls. But um, it, it's soft. It's wonderful. It's not scratchy. I thought it was scratchy. But it's not. It's not at all scratchy. It's really fun yarn. And so I thought I would share it because, I, like I said, I've made several projects out of it. And I can't foresee that I'm going to make any more out of it. And I have a lot of it. There are six skeins in here. And um, so I want to I share this yarn with someone else that might want it. Uh, and the magazine. And this is ribbon yarn. Um, I've attempted projects out of ribbon yarn. Hence why these don't have labels on them anymore. They, were prob they probably weren't packaged together. Um, again, it's the Dreamweaver yarn, and I believe these are all yarns that came from Red Heart. Um, but I'm not going to use it, and it's taking up valuable space in my yarn room because I'm going yarn shopping again today. Don't tell my husband. So, uh, there's nothing wrong with any of these yarns. I just know I'm not going to use them. If you like ribbon yarn, uh, you'll like this because there's... You know several different colors in there um and this yarn is really it's just a really fun yarn i'm just not gonna i don't i just can't foresee that i'm gonna make more stuff out of it because i already gave it away as gifts once <laughs> i had a lot more of that um and i think i made scarves and hats for like three or four people uh, and like i said this was a test to see how i liked working with it i think but i've had it sitting in my yarn room for a couple of years now um, it's been probably a couple years since my store was selling the yarn anyway, the Dreamweaver. So you will get a crochet magazine, crochet world magazine, uh, and the two things of yarn. And what do you need to put? Uh, you need to put something in so that I know that you want it. Because I love when you make comments, but I only put this specific word. What are we gonna, What are we going to use as a specific word? Put magazine, M-A-G, oh goodness, I don't know how to spell it. <laughs> Wait, isn't it on here, Crochet World Magazine? No, yeah, M-A-G-A-Z-I-N-E, okay, right. 
I was going to put an I where that second A is. See? I need to be able to write things down to spell them correctly anymore. Uh, so if you want to win this giveaway, put the word magazine, M-A-G-A-Z-I-N-E, and you will get the yarns and the magazine. Um, and I will leave this open till next Monday, so you'll have one week, just like you had for this uh, Isaac Maserati, if I said that properly, uh, yarn. Um, also, I want to say, oh yeah, this is not sponsored by anybody but me. YouTube has nothing to do with it. If you put the word magazine in your comment, then you're agreeing to all the legal mumbo-jumbo of anyone that can put any kind of restrictions, taxes, whatever on there. You're agreeing to anything that anybody comes up with uh, that could get any of us in trouble. You're agreeing to it. <laughs> if there, um, I, I'm going to make this, I'm sorry to say, only for U.S. Um, because shipping costs are outrageous to ship out of the country. So if you win from another country, I will get you a gift card um, to wherever they will allow me to buy you a gift card from. A lot of people like Amazon or maybe a local yarn shop. Um, so we'll do that as a uh, giveaway instead for $25. Um, or you can have the yarn and the magazine. I have picked the winner and the video will be attached here at the end. Um, and congratulations. You will need to email me, um, which I did say in that video clip. Um, so be sure to watch all the way through the end so we can see if you are the winner or not. Uh, and again, you, what did you win? I forgot. I forgot to show you. You are winning, uh, seven schemes. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Seven schemes of this Isaac Mizrahi yarn. Um, and the color is called, uh, I don't know. I can't read it. It's too small. Gramercy Park or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, it's a very nice fall colorway. Uh, so congratulations on your win. Don't forget to email me and I will get this yarn out to you. Okay, uh, this is the end of Vlogmas Day 15, uh, so I will see you tomorrow in another video. Bye. Alrighty, it is time to pick the winner. Um, I have put the URL in up here. Filter duplicate users based on the word Isaac. I have to put that 10 in there, so let's get the comments. 43 comments with that. Um, I think I start here and let's see who our winner is. The winner is Susan Romelli and she says the Isaac yarn is very pretty. I love the colors, bright and cheerful. Okay, Susan, uh, congratulations on being the winner. You will need to email me with your, um, with your address. Uh, my email is listed below. Congratulations. Bye.